Hi, this is Andrew here at the Battle of Blake Boo in Westport. As you can see, this is a beautiful open land where the battlefield was fought, and it's very well preserved. And if you come over this way, you can see this red building, which is behind me, and this yellow building over to my left. Once we tear these buildings down and preserve it, it'll be able to look just like this, and you'll be able to enjoy your visit to the big blue battlefield at Westport. Here's Ann with Battle of Westport Chairman Dan Smith. They're walking down the path um, that would have led to Byram's Ford. On the battle on both days, soldiers came up through across this ford, across this open land, through these fields, and got pinned down underneath that rock ridge there. Union artillery on the first day and Union soldiers on top of the ridge. The second day, the Confederates took the ridge and were firing back at the Union soldiers who were coming from this direction. The ford comes in over here from the hill and then goes up the stream a little bit, bit and then comes out here on the other side of us. And this, the road continued up there? And I come, came out over there mm -hmm. and then went up, up that away. And then... Hi, I'm Andrew here at the Battle of Big Blue. Behind me on Bloody Hill is the rock outcropping where the Union soldiers got pinned down. They couldn't move up or they couldn't move down without getting shot at by Confederate soldiers and artillery. Hi guys, I'm here at the Battle of the Big Blue. This is an interesting battle because on the 22nd of October, the Confederates charged up Bloody Hill towards the Union positions and made them retreat. And on the 23rd of October, the Union charged up the same hill and made the Confederates retreat. And we also have a great opportunity to reclaim this land.